This is a, what, an early 1960s Westinghouse tube, uh, all too black and white, and you've seen this in a previous video where we picked it up. And um, we had some open resistors in here, and also the CRT was very weak, and I rejuvenated it, and it actually woke up. So I picked up the resistor at the electronics store, and what we're going to do today is just a quick fix. I'm not going to spend any time or real effort on this. Also, the picture was kind of shrunk up all the way around, and that's usually low voltage. So what we're going to do is check the B+. plus. This uses a capacitor doubler circuit for the line voltage. And I don't want to spend much time or effort on this because the CRT is weak and I got a million of these two black and whites and kind of nobody wants them and it can just go right into the trash if I can't get it to work fairly easy. So we'll pop the back off pop the resistor in it, do a couple voltage checks and see how it looks. I'm missing the original knob unfortunately. So, Yeah, so these are the resistors and they broke off. They were hanging from this capacitor right here where all this electrical tape is. So let me have a look at that. Well, it's kind of interesting that these resistors are labeled 7.5. I'm assuming that would be three and three quarters ohms. And then I was looking here where the wire went, and the wire goes straight to the um, straight to the line cord there. So I might have got the wrong resistor. In fact, the more I look at this, this looks like a mod. That looks like they looks like they cut the wire there and just splice these resistors in because the fuse is disconnected. According to the schematic, it comes right in off the um, line cord there and goes through a two amp fuse to the switch. So they deleted the fuse and they added those resistors in. So what do I do? I don't care that much about this. Should I just delete it all together? I just jump those two together. Let's kind of see what happens here. Doesn't seem excessive. full screen too. Alright, I've just replaced it with an inline fuse. Um, the set is fired up. We got some horizontal lines right in the middle of the screen. What I want to do this evening, so we'll hook the generator up to it and see if we can see what's going on with it. But, um, um, I don't see any capacitors in here that are known for going bad. I don't see any black beauties. I don't see any white bombs. I don't I don't see anything in here except these well, okay, there are black beauties. I take that back. And uh black beauties matter. There's another one back there, but yeah, I don't and you can see the um, horizontal phase detector diode has already been changed. That's a that's a uh, kind of a chronic failure on these things. So we'll be back tonight, and we'll hook the Syncore pattern generator up to it. Let's see if Black Beauties matter. What is this? A VG91 Syncore. I love this thing. You can buy these really cheap now on eBay. All the TV shops going out of business, there is no use for them anymore. 
And of course, it's too bright out here for the uh, thing to sink to it. So let me see what I can do. I can see my own reflection there. Look at that. That'll probably get a ton of comments. All right, I got it as good as I could there. Fine tuning doesn't work. That's common on a lot of sets now. Plastic stuff breaks. But on this thing, you have a, a like a shift. I guess that would be, what's it, 500 kilohertz. You can see if I shift it. That's shifting it down. Shifting it up. So, need the fine tuning to work. Well, this is interesting. I, I told myself I wasn't going to get into it this deep, but here I am. So, this thing you can see basically moves a spring-loaded thing up and down or in and out under there. But there's also these screw terminals right here. And those are accessed by lining the, turning the fine tuning and lining it up with this hole right there. And then you can get in there with a screwdriver in through here and adjust those. So I don't know what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clean the screen off and put it back together since I can adjust this tuner from the inside because I don't want no scrub. One thing that's kind of interesting is this is a 16 tube set. This has 16 valves in it. And usually something like this would have maybe eight or nine. So it's pretty interesting they use that many in, in this set. And, and uh, this is Shango 066 and you should be watching this video on the Shango 066 channel. Beware Chinobots. This portion of CBS This Morning is sponsored by Walgreens. And one of us used a bulb sunscreen. I wonder who. We're going to need some reinforcements. Halfway. Copy that. Walgreens makes it easy. That's a little bit weird. Your summer base camp is just around the corner. But not bad. Out and back to those summer shenanigans. Walgreens at the corner of Happy and Healthy. Now with card, one liter smart water is two for four dollars or two thirty nine each. Actually, the tube looks pretty good. I don't see any kind of clouding of the faces or anything. I do have a drive line right here in the middle. That could be a weak tube or alignment setup stuff, but. And this is using just a crappy IPEX box and most of these converter boxes you always want to run them with the top off because the processor in there gets so hot and they use such cheap capacitors that these things fail in short order. I always either run them with the top off, add a fan, or um, drill a lot of holes in there. You don't want to just leave these boxes on. They're not near the quality of like a cable or satellite box. You, you They'll fail in short order. They're junk. Keytruda can cause your immune system to attack normal organs and tissues in your body and affect how they work, and may be serious and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you experience new or worsening cough, chest pain, shortness. That's the AGC in the phone, not not the um, set. Set looks good. 
changes in urine, changes in eyesight, muscle pain or weakness, joint pain, rash, itching or flushing, as this may keep these problems from becoming more serious. These are not all the possible side effects of Keytruda. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant or lung, breathing, or liver problems. Each day now, it's a gift. A chance for a longer life. It's true. Keytruda. From Mark. Ask your doctor about Keytruda. Boost.